Hey guys, episode 21 of the Bitcoin and Crypto Portfolio series. Uh, amazingly, I'm up on the week um, after the sort of little crash that we had during the week. So about 3,000, 4,000 up. Um, call this 150k because uh, I've got a couple hundred quid elsewhere. Um, so just looking at the sort of graph of the portfolio... Uh, you can see uh, sort of showing 161,000 at the high it went up to during the week. I'm pretty sure this is sort of end of the day prices. It did actually go up to about 164, I believe, part of the way during the day. And then sort of crashed down to about 130. Um, so it's a reasonable decline. Um, and it's now been sort of recovering. Um, just wanted to sort of remind you guys of the 2017 bull market. Um, so this is a chart of about one year, the full year of 2017. And you can sort of see, obviously, this is the uh, huge run up from about £1,000 uh, to $20,000. But you notice the red um, shaded areas are sort of all significant pullbacks along the way. So you get the uh, the large sort of green shaded areas of uh, a run up, and then you'll notice sort of 33% decline. Um, obviously, every time this happened, then the bears come out and say, you know, this is the end, this is the top, and then you get another sort of large green uh, few months. So that one was April to June 2017, uh, or sort of end of March to middle of June, 240%. Then you get 40% decline, but obviously the um, the low of the drop is sort of considerably higher than uh, where it started. So it's just continually going up. Um, but basically to say that the drops are healthy and um, when you get this sort of move up it can't just go up at 45 degree angle straight upwards with never declining so you got 180 177 uh, percent in a couple of months there and then another 41 percent decline and another 170 percent up with 30% decline, so this is up to 7,000 now. Uh, this was October, November time, 2017. And then sort of in the lead up to, again, you had another 31% decline. And then in the final sort of couple of months of the year, just went up crazy and uh, got to 20,000. And then obviously the... Uh, the bigger decline is sort of the 2018 bear market. So basically, overall, you can expect lots of pullbacks in uh, a bull market, but it generally sort of drops to a higher low than where it was previously. So it's a, a ladder, basically. Um, so we've had this drop, to be fair, is only about... 15 percent um so there is potential for it to go further further downwards next week um it might take sort of two or three weeks to to play out entirely but uh we'll see um so just sort of taking a look at the individual coins um so bitcoin's actually positive for the week now um obviously after the, uh, you can see the graph looks a bit strange, the little run up during the week and then a big crash and uh, back to where we started. So a little bit volatile, but uh, it's, some of the other coins have been sort of making up for for those losses during the week. Uh, so Ethereum nearly up 5%. Pretty good. Litecoin, uh, I think, again, has been sort of recovering but not quite as much as everything else so down five percent 
some of these altcoins obviously take quite a hit when Bitcoin goes down. Um, remember looking at these some during the week they were down sort of thirty percent on the day, I think was about the highest. Um, so OMG slightly up on the day, um, but yeah, this was sort of one of the uh, the big droppers, sort of twenty five to thirty percent decline. Uh, we just haven't had it in Bitcoin. It's just mainly been in the altcoins, the uh, sort of huge declines. Stellar um, still sort of rocketing up from uh, last week. Obviously had a, an even bigger run up during the week. I uh, can't even remember where it ended up, but 17p or something. Uh, but settled down to around this 14, 15p mark. So just about 100% up. This has made up for sort of a lot of the losses, really. Um, and Ada doing well as well, 26% up. Slightly more sort of steady, steady rise. Just uh, checking on the monthly chart. Yeah, 70% up for the month. Had a sort of little slow period in uh, November, but has then sort of gone crazy. And XRP sort of obviously was a lot higher than this and getting towards sort of 60p, but has now sort of come back down to, came back down to about 35p and has then gone up to 47, but again, sort of 47% up on the week. Um, this and Stella both seem to be doing well, very similar coins and... Uh, yeah, potential to be sort of used in government currencies, basically. Uh, so I think as more governments are pushing towards their central bank currencies, then you're going to get more of that, more potential for them to be used. Um, EOS still seems a very slow mover uh, most of the time. I mean, basically flat for the week. Um, only ever made one purchase of this. Uh, so... Don't know, maybe one of the earlier ones to go. Uh, Tron, still a little bit strange, not seeing sort of too much news on this. 12% uh, up, just under, not too bad. Um, Dash is one of the ones that has been sort of really recovering quite well. Um, yeah, 23% up on the week, uh, not far off the uh, peak earlier in the week to be honest so pretty good move um again not seeing any sort of particular bullish news on it um power ledger 19 percent so it's not too bad that's my very small um small cap uh i think it's sort of 150th 175th in uh, the sort of top 200 coins um but yeah, I've got a reasonable position in that now. Um, basic attention token is sort of normally a very slow mover, um, but it's up 10%. So pretty happy with that. And then the uh, smaller positions sort of, yeah, basically following the market, but not doing all that much else. Um, but yeah, so that's the portfolio for the week. Um Basically, uh, take a big crash in your stride. If uh, if you're invested, then, like I say, it's worth bearing in mind those big drops, basically, in the 2017 bull market. Um, you uh, got to sort of ride these out and uh, just hold strong. Maybe take a little bit of profit sort of on the run-ups if you want to uh, feel a little bit safer. Um, but, yeah, so leave a comment in... Uh, in the comments section uh, if you got any queries and fears about the uh, crash and uh, drop a like always appreciated and subscribe if you want to see more